Hi there, everyone. Martin Tyler here again for you. We're at the FIFA 2018 World Cup, and this is the opening match of this particular group. These two countries, Alan, have been working so hard to be ready for this great day in the history of their football. Well, it has been such a huge build-up, and they've worked incredibly hard. And you're right, Martin, the last thing you want to do now is freeze on the big stage. Some of the experienced lads in both teams to make sure that doesn't happen. Main game today, Germany against Mexico. And we pause now for the national anthems. Mexico deservedly have their place in World Cup history. They staged two tournaments. Not many countries can say they've done that uh, in 1970. And then they stepped in in 1986 when Colombia couldn't uh, actually get the deal sealed. So when you look at Mexico, you've got to be grateful for what they've done for this competition. Oh, without question. And uh, one of the features of the Brazil World Cup was those fans that came in their thousands. Green shirts absolutely swarming all over stadiums four years ago. Looking at the lineup, he's got all the components in place, hasn't he, the manager, for the pressing style of play that's been a feature of his team. Yep, and uh, many an opponent has found it difficult to cope with. If your touch isn't spot on against this aggressive type of closing down, you're going to lose it in dangerous areas. Enjoy the this game. is the Mexico lineup for this game. And a look at the opposing side as well. It's pretty similar, Alan, isn't it? It is. I hope we're not in, uh, in for a snore fest here when there's not going to be many chances at either end. Well, that's the start of this group. The ball is rolling down. And the nations are competing to try, first of all, to get through to the knockout phase. Jerome Botek. Carlos Vela. On to Muller. Vela. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Looking for Hernandez. Good forward play from them. And shoots! Trying to get in behind, just a little too eagerly then. He could give the defender a yard, you know, and still get there. An easy one for the linesman, he was a good couple of yards. Keeper's in trouble now. To put them in front. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Goal for the visitors. Number 14, Come on. Mesut Ozil. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking good from their point of view. And he takes it on with a shot at goal here. That was a good chance to get level here. Well, it certainly was. Good move too. And give him another chance. I think he might take it. So 
very hard for FIFA to get the balance around the world for all the countries to have a, a fair chance of qualifying. I feel sorry for South America, where they have so many A-grade countries, if you like, in terms of football, and only a certain number of places, four guaranteed, potential of a playoff for a fifth, and uh, some good nations miss out. Yeah, that's true. And he could get away here. Got to keep his nerve here. And it is Lozano. Just a quick thought, Alan. I was going to mention it when we were talking earlier about South America and how difficult it is for the nations. There are a lot of them. Vela! Very close in, Alan, but not very close to scoring. Yeah, a simple save in the end, and it should have been anything but. It's... Oh, it's close, Alan. Offside is given. He's quick enough. He doesn't need to do that. The manager won't be too happy with that. Space here on the flanks. A dangerous piece of defending, really, under some pressure straight away. Traxler. In towards Urzil. On the attack here. Now, this is an interesting attack. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Zaho. He's cut that out well, well read. Probing the pass. Challenges for the ball. Delivery to the far post. It's rather skewed off his head in the end. Yeah, he, uh, he didn't catch it properly. I think he probably closed his eyes there. The manager turns away in disgust. He expects his man to top that one away and, and get his team on level terms. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Riding forward, purposefully. Free kick given. Clearly a booking, out comes the yellow card. Well, he reached straight for his pocket, he didn't really think about it, but I think that's the good call. These days, going off your feet like that is running the risk of the referee taking serious action. Well, he's gone to ground, and whenever that happens, you're going to get penalised. Poor challenge. Forward save. Yeah, that was picking cherries. He saved that 100 times out of 100. And turn over to the opposition because of that poor touch. Well, it's an erratic moment for the goalkeeper and an error too, but an error that he's got away with. When you give the ball away as a keeper, it normally leads to a dangerous situation. That's the nature of the job, and he just about got away with it. They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. Pissed away by the keeper. Shot off! You see what he was trying to do, opening up his body to place it, but he's placed it wide, sadly, for him. I would have expected much more from Germany. They are behind, the scoreline reflects the territory of the match very accurately. They have to do better in the second half, otherwise they'll get beaten here. Well, they're in a good position here. Delivered into the box. Four cross, really. No chance for anyone in the centre to get there. 
Mesut Ozil. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. Ozil looking to steer it through. He's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. That's going to be a chance for him. We've got a shoot from here. Guiding it through the defenders. Really getting at the op opportunity now. Corner. Swung in from the corner. Only partially cleared, so he's got his shot off now. He's gone for the volley, and it nearly paid off. Yeah, really good technique there, known for that kind of volley. Last half-time at 1-0. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his team ahead. He'll be pleased with that first 45 minutes. Second half starts, group stage game, of course, in the World Cup here, and Germany are behind. It's not often that Germany don't perform on the big stage, but they did in that first half. Turn pass. Gross. Germany on the attack. Joshua Kimmich, he's blocked the shot well. Well, they've got a corner out of that, a bit lucky, it was deflected. goes to corner. Good header back into the danger area. Guadalupe. Gross. Germany moving uh, the ball well into the attacking areas. Now the shot! Werner! A oh, great one. That move nipped in the bud by the raising of the flag from the assistant to me like the timing of the pass and the run was spot on but closer inspection now he was off Layou getting forward well as a team now looked very good indeed but the move has broken down Julian Draxler. Werner. Well, we've got an angle on this uh, offside call, Alan, and I must say, it is the most difficult thing in all the officiating, I think. But this assistant has got eagle eyes. And I certainly wouldn't want to do that job because uh, the uh, speed that players move now, as it turns out, what a great call. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. It was good progress with this attack. Could get his cross in now. In towards Urzil. Sami Kadira. Baxter. In free kick territory, this foul. 
A uh, yellow card, Alan. Yeah, quite right. Rash, Alan, reckless. All right, it's a definite foul, Martin. It's a slight tackle, but he just mistimed it badly. Kick down. Always difficult from that kind of distance to get it up and over the wall. Oh, just too high, and uh, it was coming down too. It's so hard to keep these modern day footballs down, but he very nearly managed it. Mesut Ozil. Good forward play from them. He blocked it then. And it's a corner now. Long overdue, you feel this change for a side that's behind. A switch of tactics now. Corner played in. Get it back into the middle. Carlos Vela. I think the two teams are going to play on here, but the referee has stopped it for this injury. to get the game restarted with a drop ball. And the referee spotted that deflection, he's pointed for the corner. Sort of waiting for Draxler to announce himself into this game. Hasn't happened yet, Alan Smith. Well, if it continues like this, maybe the manager will substitute him. But he is a key player, his team are losing. They need to find a way to give him more touches. Corner's taken. Easy for the goalkeeper when really there was every chance of him being totally beaten then. And he's got the ball. Yeah, he was exposed there and uh, he must have thought he was going to get beaten. But, well, the lad just made a real hash of it, didn't he? Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. And the defender is able here to control the ball and clear. Oh, that would have looked great if it had flown in, but in the end it didn't fly very close at all. No, he looked a bit embarrassed after that effort. Platinum. Mesut Ozil. Cleverly done. Puts the goalkeeper in the eye. Oh, he needed to time that tackle well. It's cost a corner. Could have been worse if he got it wrong. And this is going to be a change here for the team that is leading. And it's clearly a tactical one to try and cement that winning position. Here comes the corner. It's not really a way. Poor clearance. Cross. Routine for the keeper. Germany have given it a good shot in the second half, but they haven't had a great shot past the goalkeeper to get themselves back on the, the decent terms on the scoreline. So they are now looking like a beaten side. Platinum. On to the attack now. take possession in his own half. Yeah. 
threads it through. Playing in the clear. Brilliantly read by the goalkeeper. Yeah, all about positioning there, Martin. He's an experienced keeper, and he showed it there. So we're going to see a double switch now. Number 10, Nazar Hizir. And number 7, Julian Draxler. Coming onto the pitch, number 11, Marco Lloyd. And number 20, Thomas Fuller. Referee has chosen to add on four minutes. Four delivered minutes. into the box. Well, this is what goalkeepers thrive on, Alan, isn't it? Their succession of saves and the fact that the opposition still haven't scored. They work on all week with the coaches moving the feet. Probing with the pass. And he goes at the feet of the attacker. Well, the attacker will feel that's a chance wasted, that, but uh, you've got to give full marks to the keeper. Thomas Muller still trying to equalise right into the closing moments here with this attack. Well, the game has run its course here, and there's the final whistle. Beaten here, but uh, I must say they can hold their heads up as they go off the pitch. They gave it everything. Yeah, and you can bet your life the manager in the post-match interviews will be focusing on the positive aspects of that display. Some final thoughts on one of the better performers today, Alan. Got himself a goal and uh, put in a really good shift. Excellent performance. Keeper's in trouble now. To put them in front. They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. Cross that's pissed away by the keeper. And now the shot! 